it's Shabbos now, Shabbos now, and we'll sing I, I, I. Hello everybody, this week's Parsha's Parsha's Bo. Now I know that's a cool name, but what happens is even cooler. So after plenty of years of the Jews slaving away in Egypt, we're finally leaving Egypt. Kids, let's go! 200 years is enough time to pack! Now before we leave Egypt, God commands us our first mitzvah, our very first commandment in the whole entire Torah. Now that first commandment is, drum roll please! Blessing the moon? I mean, isn't the first commandment supposed to be like some momentous big thing? I mean, what's so special about blessing the moon? Guys, it's happening! Five, four, three, two, one! Bless you, dear moon. Bless you. Now for the answer to that question, we're gonna have to go to the rabbi. So the mitzvah of blessing the moon is actually a very, very important mitzvah that teaches us an insane lesson. Anyway, so I don't know if you guys knew. Actually, we already knew. All right, my bad. I don't know if you guys knew, but the blessing of the moon, a.k.a. Rosh Chodesh, was dependent on when the Jews saw the new moon. I mean, think about it. It's one of the only commandments that is based solely off us human beings and not by God. God gave us. The power. And I told you, you gotta watch out from them Jews. They run the world. Soon we're gonna see them horns and everything. <sighs> so the lesson we learn out from this is that God literally gives us unlimited power to overcome our challenges. So next time you face a challenge, look it in the face and tell them, uh-uh, not today. You see, what you don't know is I watched the Torah shorts this week, but this is not happening. Not happening. Anyways, guys, Shabbat Shalom. Hasla <laughs>